All right, in this video, we're going to see how to make a more complex coffee mug by creating my Yeti tumbler. So here's a picture of what we're talking about here. Now, the reason it's more complicated is because it's not a simple cylinder. It kind of has this bottom taper and then this bevel and then a second cylinder and chrome and orange and a lid and all these different things. So we're going to do our best to recreate something like this in on shape. Now, I am not doing specific measurements for this. I am just kind of doing aesthetic uh, approximations. If you wanted to, you could of course be typing in specific measurements if you were trying to make an exact carbon copy of this mug. So we're gonna start by drawing a circle on our top work plane. So I'm gonna click on the top plane, I'm gonna make a new sketch, and we're just gonna make a circle that's going to turn into our bottom ring. Now I am gonna type in uh, measurements that aren't necessarily to scale of the mug, but then that way I know what I'm working with. So I'm going to extrude this guy to be like 0.125 or so. Just a thin little cylinder. We're going to call this bottom ring. All right. And I'm actually going to hide my work plane. So I'm going to hide them, hit the eyeballs next to top, front, and right view just so it's easier to see what we got going on. And we can rename part one to be called bottom ring. And I can even edit the appearance of part one to be a silverish gray. Great. Now, the next thing I want to do is I actually want to create a uh, offset plane for a taper. So I'm actually going to click on the top of my ring, right click, and we're going to hit offset plane. Now, this is going to be the distance between the bottom here and the top of our taper. So I'm going to drag this to be, oh, well, leave it at one. That's fine. And we're going to click on the new plane that was just drawn, make a new sketch, and I'm going to make a bigger circle than my bottom ring. So I'm going to pull this out to be like 1.7. Okay. Now I can hit the loft tool and we're going to click on the top of our ring and the bottom of our new circle. And that's going to make this nice taper just like so. Now what I want to do is I'm actually going to uh, hit new material. So it's going to make a new part and we can name this taper. Hit our checkbox. Uh, I'm going to hide this plane to again keep our work plane nice and organized and we're going to rename this to B mug body. All right, and we can even edit the appearance of this and make it a nice kind of burnt orange just like my mug. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the top of our taper and we're gonna make a new sketch and we're gonna make a slightly larger circle. Let's say that much larger, 1.85, like so. And we're gonna extrude both the center and the outer to make the top part of our mug. And I'm gonna make this guy two inches tall now let's go 1.75, like so. Okay, and notice that when I extruded that, we actually had add selected. So this is now part of mug body. So this is not a new part. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our fillet tool and I'm just gonna click on this edge to round over the overlap between the bottom taper and the top here. So now we have a nice rounded soft connection point, just like the actual Yeti mug. We're going to click on the top here of our mug. And what we're actually gonna do is we're going to hit the shell tool. So if I hit shell, it's going to hollow out the taper of our mug. And you can set your wall thickness. I'm gonna leave it at the default of 0.1. I think that looks good. So now I have a nice hollowed out mug. We need another chrome ring. So I'm gonna click on this new top ring here. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hit the extrude tool and I'm gonna make a new material. So that's gonna actually give us an extrusion of this ring as its own new shape. Okay, so I can set the height of my ring so it looks good, or at least proportional. Bring that in just a little bit. I think we did 0.125 for the bottom ring, so we'll keep those the same. I'm gonna call this top ring. This is gonna make a new part, which we can rename to be top ring, and set the material for the appearance to be the same gray as the bottom. And to be honest, I don't remember which gray I selected, so I'm gonna actually select both bottom ring and top ring. 
and edit appearance for both parts at the same time. So that way when I click on a shade of gray, it applies them to both, like so. All right, next up is the lid, okay, which is kind of fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the top ring. We're gonna make a new sketch and we are going to draw a circle that's the same-ish size as our top ring. We're then going to extrude this circle. Oops. We're going to extrude this circle. So it's, let's say, 0.1 or so. And we're going to make this a new material. I'm going to call it lit. OK. Now, what I want to do Here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rename part four to be lid. And we're gonna edit the appearance of part four to actually be transparent. So this little A slider here is our transparency. So I can set the transparency of my lid. Let's go A45. So now it's gonna be nice and transparent, clear lid. All right. We're going to add a chamfer around this edge. Not a very big chamfer, let's say 0.05, like so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on top of our lid, we're gonna make a new sketch, and I'm going to draw a circle that's about the same, nearly the same as the inside of my mug. So you see how that blue ring is very close to the inside of my mug, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna extrude this circle but we're gonna go down, so we're going into our mug. And we only have to go a little bit. This is just the part that kind of plugs into our mug here. So it's gonna give our lid a little bit of chunk to it. Now what we're gonna do is, and just to make this easier, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna hide everything but the lid, so that way we kind of see what's going on here. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut into our lid a bit. All right, so I'm gonna make a new sketch right on top. And we're gonna make another circle here. And this one's going to fit inside of the smallest one. We're going to extrude this new circle by removing material. And we're just going to remove into our lid here, like so. And I'm going to add a chamfer on this to give us our nice dish down Yeti lid. Okay, like so. Now we're going to do our mouth opening. And you know, I think this extrude is just a little deep. Let's pull this up a little bit. There we go. All right, we're gonna do our mouthpiece opening here. So I'm gonna make a new sketch on top of our Yeti mug. We're gonna draw a center line. So I'm just gonna grab my line tool, my construction tool, and draw a nice perpendicular line so I have a good center point. And we're going to draw a rounded rectangle that cuts right through all of our chamfers here, like so. And I'm gonna grab our sketch fillet tool and just kind of round the corners of this guy. You can click on two sides and set the radius to be whatever you want. I'm using 0.05, which seems to be nice. Okay, like so. We're going to extrude this cut, removing material, and I don't want to remove all the way. This is actually just going to be the drinking channel. All right, so this guy's just going to remove a little bit here. Okay, just like so. So that's kind of giving us this drinking channel. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make a new sketch on this, and we can actually borrow this shape if we hit this little uh, use project curvature. We can actually click here to grab the shape. And I'm just gonna draw a divider line right along here. And we can remove this piece now all the way through. So that's gonna be our drinking piece. Okay, perhaps you wanna add a little bit of a round on these edges or a fillet on these edges just to kind of soften this here a bit. Like so. 
All right. And now the last thing we need to do for our Yeti is actually add the little cap part. So I'm going to make a new sketch right here in our opening. And again, I'm just going to borrow this shape. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to draw another line and we're going to add rounded corners to here and rounded corners to here like so. And we're going to extrude this piece, but make it a new material. Like that. Make a sketch here. And let's just borrow this. And we're going to give it a nice little centerpiece, just like the Yetis have. Like this. Draw another little rectangle. And drop in some fillets. So we're going to fillet this and this. A really, really tiny little fillet here. And here and here. And here. Just all the way around. This is going to be called the cap, I think. I don't actually know what that's called on the Yeti. And we're gonna edit the appearance and make it black. Oop, that's really dark. Let's make it dark gray. It's easier to see, like so. Now, when I show the rest of our mug, we can see that we have our Yeti tumbler.